these are the three platoons that make up the Commonwealth Bolt Action Army that I'm making. Um, the brown plastic Perry miniatures, they're just British or Canadian um, troops. Now, they're Perry miniatures 8th Army and they are a slightly slighter body build than the Warlord Games 8th Army, which is a grey model stood next to them. But I don't think that's going to matter on the tabletop when they're all painted. Um, the there's, there's, a, there's a British or Canadian um, platoon, then there's the Sikh platoon, and there's the guys with the hats I'm going to use as um, East Africans. Um, so the idea is, is that this army will be able to be used in um, desert games or Singapore or um, Burma and also Italy because um, obviously there's the there's the there's the extant vehicle park although those wasps aren't part of the British list that the wasps are, are these things they're not part of the British forces list even though it says British wasp plane car carrier on the Warlord Games website which is a bit of a bother that's the AEC Armoured Car Mark II with the six pounder and the coaxial machine gun. That model weighs a lot, and it's not that the weight isn't in the wheels; it's the it's just the amount of solid solid resin. There's um, universal carriers with Sikh crew. There are Indian pattern armoured cars. There's two of them um, with the Bren gun and the boys anti tank rifle. Um, they don't weigh remotely as much as the AEC Mark II. There are three Matilda IIs in Western Desert um, configuration. Unfortunately, and it was kind of, I'd done two out of three of them by the time I realised, I glued the mountlets in upside down. So the coaxial machine gun mount there is upside down if that will focus, which it may never do. Um, then there's the East African Universal Carrier Cruise, and um, I'd run out of East African heads. I would have made that that one there another East African um, Universal Carrier because I've already got three uh, British or Commonwealth Universal Carrier models there, and I've got uh, obviously the the AEC, but I didn't have enough heads with the hats, so I just went with berries. Um, there's the, the sort of command element, so in front there with the beret thing with the little pom-pom on it, I know that that has got a proper name but I can't remember it, is the, um, the major or captain of, of the company, behind him is the British Lieutenant or Canadian Lieutenant, either way, the, we'll, we'll say British for short, so there's the British Lieutenant there with his two chaps and the British um, um, artillery observer with his two chaps, then there's the East African equivalent there, and then there's the Sikh equivalent back there, and then there's the six pounder artillery guns, anti tank guns, sorry, the British and the Sikh. These models, the, 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 the gun shield, the gun, and the thing in front, I'm not entirely sure what that thing in front of the gun shield is, but they are a nightmare to glue together. Um, even though the 25 pounder artillery gun back there looks kind of like it's going to be the same horror show, and, and, and in fact it is, I mean you'll see there I've glued the wheels here and I've just put those wheels on the base as detached. Those wheels are supposed to go up here near the front, like uh, like on, on the 6 pounder anti-tank gun. I could not for the life of me get that thing to glue together properly, so I just glued it like that because it looks fine I, I don't really care actually what's that little piece of glue there that is um no that is not glue that is a little piece of plastic that i'll get in a minute um there's a british maxim machine gun and the east african 
Maxim machine gun. Now I used the little sandbags. Um, I'm just getting my bit of plastic. There. That'll be from the base that I made for the um, the Indian pattern armored cars because I've run out of bases. Basically, like I've run out of the base for the um, AEC cars. So that's made out of the movement tray that's been cut to size, and that's made out of the top of a lid of cotton buds with some reinforcing plastic on it so that it stays rigid. Um, I use the sandbags obviously to make a sort of a more interesting base for the Maxim guns and the mortars and then that's uh, I had three leftover Perry miniatures so I made uh, another East African mortar but I used a Game Workshop mortar with the Eagle scraped off because I've run out of mortar models. Um, so that's them three platoons uh, sorted together. Obviously they can pull vehicles from the from the vehicle pool they can, or the motor pool if you were going to give it a name, they can pull vehicles from the new models there and uh, obviously they've got all these support choices. I have never played a game of bolt action but I do want to. I have no idea how long this would take so, um, so I guess we'll see.